It was fine. It was fine. There's so no. many pigeons over there. <laughs> she has no fear. I'm gonna go again. I'm with this graduation because of nothing donuts. Chase Lamar Jones. The night before graduation chapel, so two days before graduation. So we're trying on our graduation robes down here. So which ones do we bring? Don't bring the hood, you gotta leave the hood here. Which we wear hood? that for graduation. This is the hood? Yeah. We used to stay up late studying and play the graduation theme song to motivate us. What is this? Not even and now it's becoming real. Not real. It was fine, it was fine. Yeah. <laughs> Very sticky. Yeah, look how pretty she looks. Yes. This is like George. Do we have to keep this on the whole time? Is this is this upside down? That's yeah. so wrong. Can you, can you fix it for me? This seriously doesn't fit on my head. You look ridiculous. You do look ridiculous. Yeah, really? Like. <laughs> it looks like you keep it on. What are you gonna do? I'm, I guess I'm gonna walk across the stage like this. <laughs> All right, so my family made it in last night. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> I've been in the vlog forever. I think it's like Thanksgiving. No, I haven't, I haven't seen y'all since Thanksgiving. Yeah. Yeah, okay. I think this is my third time here. Fourth time here. I can't remember. This is not your fifth time. <laughs> Like a rock at like this peacock. Pigeons? There's no. so many pigeons it's over pe there. <laughs> the rats of the sky. Alright, so downtown Dallas is awesome, but now it's time to uh, go to this graduation barbecue. So, all the students who are graduating, we get some barbecue because this is Texas and that's what we do in Texas. See, she's in there with the brown jeans. The goat. No. This is so furry. Yeah. Like, I can't. Just, wow, I wish I had one of these. She loves animals. She does. Okay, baby. I'm afraid that one of us going to kick her. Yes. Baby, don't Moments later. Hey, what happened? So she went over to the baby chickens, the chicks, and she like grabbed its beak and like squeezed its head, picked it up, and then its wings started flapping everywhere. Ada, Ada, what are you doing? She has no fear. I'm gonna get in the bouncy house because people are cheating. There's like this little crack that like you're not supposed to go through to get in, and they just keep going through it. <laughs> Made it to the barbecue. That's right. Okay. Step one. <laughs> tomorrow, though, is the question. Oh, no. no we'll make it tomorrow. <laughs> no, this is it for me. All four years led up to the barbecue. To the barbecue. <laughs> okay. Chase, is this where you did the, because we are yours? <laughs> you mean the intro to the vlog? <laughs> I think we should do the new intro to the vlog using, <laughs> using that. Because we are yours. <laughs> Two years ago, I was at church and we had this huge community community day thing with a bunch of inflatables and everything. And I was running and then I tripped over a cord or something and I plugged a cord and I was like, oh, I don't know what to do. So I just <laughs> left the scene. And then all of a sudden I hear screaming and crying and I look over and there's this huge inflatable just coming down. Parents are running over, kids are crying, and I deflated the thing. And I... 
I didn't do anything about it. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so that's why dad asked if you did that. <laughs> right. The dad and Mimi. Well, this is where your vlog starts. That's what I said. Because <laughs> we are yours. <laughs> what are you doing? Because we are yours. <laughs> <laughs> Vlogs, you have been just making fun of our vlogs. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. You guys have been hating on our vlogs here. But that means they've been watching them. That's right. Ah, uh, graduation day. Right, we made it. We made it. And Hutchins. Yes, got some coffee too. Almost missed graduation because of Dunkin' Donuts, but it's working. Jeremy Palms, Corey Cooley, James Cowan, Troy Duet, Deary Dyer, Nathaniel Elgin, Caleb Foley, yeah. James Cross. Thank you, Rebecca. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> She's fixing my hood because I have no idea what I'm doing. Go. Taking the selfie. I got the video. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> right, Sam, we made it. Yeah, I'm gonna go to the bathroom just in case something happens during the thing. <laughs> You have had a great season of learning the truth here at Dallas Theological Seminary. But when it comes to going out there, people need to know how to live it out, how to work it out, how to apply it, how to use it. It is not enough to be able to know Greek and Hebrew. That is great for understanding information. But our world needs to see application and it needs to experience transformation because kingdom disciples have made such a kingdom impact that it can be said about you and your ministry these folks are turning the world upside down chase lamar jones What's up everybody? So I wanted to end this vlog a different way than normal and I want to show you guys this that we got when we walked across the stage but I put something else in it for now. Something that I was carrying in my pocket when I walked across the stage and I want to, to read this to you guys. It's uh, dated May 2nd, 2013. It says, Dear Chase, the admissions committee has reviewed your application for admission to Dallas Theological Seminary. I regret to inform you that the committee was not able to approve your application. The committee suggests that you complete additional coursework or retake the graduate record examination. If you would like to contact me or input on how to strengthen your application, please feel free to call. May the Lord bless you as you seek and serve Him. And I've had this uh, sitting in my file for five years. I haven't thrown it away. I've used it as motivation on nights when I don't want to study, when I, I just would rather, you know, watch YouTube or do something else. Uh, th this was motivation for me. See, not a lot of people know that I didn't get into DTS the first year I applied. This right here, both you know the achievement of receiving this but the con the letter inside is nothing but a testimony to how good and how uh, just amazing God is because see when I first got rejected I was disappointed I was upset I was frustrated I was confused I was nervous I mean I got that letter I think it was dated May 2nd 2013 so that was like a month and a half before I was getting married over the years I've been able to think about it and, and reflect back and realize like if I would have gotten accepted that first year, one, I might not have met some of my best friends for life, hopefully, here at seminary, uh, like Sam and Rebecca and Caleb and Josh, the godfather of Ada, and so many others that I could mention, because we wouldn't have been necessarily on the same track. 
But the craziest thing, the reason why I really know that it's nothing but God, I met Jared Witt, who's the pastor of the church we go to. I met him on a train because we were in the same Greek one class freshman year. And that meeting grew into a friendship and that friendship grew into me becoming part of the staff at that church, uh, Hanley Baptist Church, which is now the church on Rush Creek. But if I would have started a year before, I probably would have never met Jared on that train because we wouldn't have been going to the same class. Our, our paths would have been completely different and I would have never got to meet some of these amazing people that go to our church and that work on our church staff and more people who are friends for life. But all this to say that God knows the perfect timing for everything. God's the one who put this all together. And it just never ceases to amaze me how, how he's into those intricate details and how those things might be frustrating to us in the moment, but they're for the better. Instead of doing comment of the week this week, there's one person in particular that I want to thank for this degree. And that's the other half of this vlog. Amanda. When I was in college, Amanda was getting her athletic training degree, and with that degree meant she'd have to go on several sports trips and travel with the away team, and she was gone just so much of the time. I was in college, I was like, oh man, this kind of sucks. Like, we're not even married, we're just dating, and we're just always, you know, just crossing paths. We never get to really spend time together. But now the roles had kind of reversed, where I've been in school for the past four years. You know, she goes to bed at night, and I go downstairs to study in the lounge. And that frustration, that yearning to be with your other half that I experienced, she's been experiencing that for four years, ever since I started this degree. I couldn't have done this without Amanda's patience, without her kindness and understanding that I'm, <laughs> I'm trying to study, not just, you know, goofing off, although we were goofing off a lot down there. But thank you, Amanda. This, well, not the rejection letter, but whenever I actually get the diploma uh, at the end of the summer, it should have your name on it as much as it has my name on it. So I'm, I'm so thankful for everything that you've done. So that's it for this week. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, join the family. I feel like I should put the graduation cap on for this outro. All right, there we go. Hope we'll see you next week on the next episode of the Jones Family Vlog. Right, I'm going to take this thing off because I probably look ridiculous in a t-shirt and a graduation cap. See you guys. Did I go on the vlog? Yes.